Hello and welcome to Set of Hero. Today we are going to talk about using YouTube Data API V3 to get your video playlists and latest videos. Uh, how to get started with it? Because uh, it's a Google API, Google Data YouTube Data API, and it's a bit uh, different than uh, normal. Or let's say the the <coughs> process is not so easy. So let's get started. First thing you, uh, you need to do is you need to create a uh, project in Google API, and to do that you need to go to uh, https console.developers.google.com and uh, right from there you can create it. So you see here you just need to go this uh, website, and uh, if we go, I'm already there. So let's go and then once you are here I, I have already few projects uh, so I'm in uh, manage resources but uh, if you don't have any project um, then you will be directly at uh, at uh, google console.developers.com dot google dot com and there you will have option to create project so once you click it create project I have only a one quota in my uh, <laughs> request and uh, yeah so up let me create it let me just put tag of the day and uh, yeah and no organization and then I will click uh, create now let me just go to tech of the day it's here now you need to enable few services this is just a project now you see you don't have any apis available to use yet to get started click enable apis and services to go to api library so I'll just need to add YouTube data library so search for API's and services you see here you can add any app available uh, Google API's so I'm gonna just use this one because uh, I'm not doing other projects like this is for analytics this is for reporting API you can do also these things YouTube ads reach api retrieve youtube ads reach per market demographics it's it's a lot so you can do a lot of things with it but uh, i'm gonna use this data api so i'm gonna enable it for my channel and uh, here you see youtube data api v3 is an api that provides access to youtube data such as videos playlists and uh, this is all i need so I have enabled it for my channel and now you see I have it but now you need the second step after uh, third step after enabling creating and enabling this API you need to create credentials for it so you create credential for your API and uh, create credentials so you can have API key or OAuth client ID request user consent so that uh, user app can access the users data identifies your project using a simple API key to check quota and accesses so there is difference here if you are developing an uh, application for 
for a client and if then if you need their permission to access their channel then you need to create oauth client id otherwise uh, you can create a simple api key which means uh, you are allowed to use a google api and uh, after that uh, you are uh, allowed to use it but uh, you won't be able to do other things with the client uh, client okay uh, once you done it you need to copy this uh, api i'll change it for sure <laughs> and uh, you can also restrict this a uh, key um, so let's go um there are also samples here you see in youtube uh, you can directly use them in uh, developers community you have core samples on youtube sorry not uh, on youtube i mean on uh, google api link there and uh, you can just directly use them if you want me to use them i can also uh, use it directly and i just need to copy this uh, this api key to my uh, to my example and it will run i'll show you an uh, example just in a while let's just do it so i just copied that api key we just created here and uh, using that api key i can uh, just run it and uh, search on uh, youtube so just let's go and uh, let's see meanwhile uh, it will uh, stop at this breakpoint okay and what i'm doing here i'm putting the query as aj204 developing solutions for microsoft azure and i'm putting max results 50 and uh, with this uh, thingy i'm just uh, specifying what i want from my query and then i execute it execute the request then after the results i will i can separate them if it's a video if it's a channel or if it's a playlist because result type can be anything so i just need to specify them and then i will display them here according to the type so let's just go pass it so you see there are many videos no channel and uh, four playlists with that i think the first one is mine if i if i understood it properly let me just see it <laughs> yeah i think this yep this is my playlist so yeah that's uh, that's all uh, so you you just have uh, your first client uh, youtube uh, data api up and running now uh, you can also create uh, oauth client id with that you ha you can do uh, really a lot uh, a lot more like uh, you can upload video delete video modify playlist uh, you can add more videos to a playlist you can create playlist so you can do everything what you can do on your uh, simply on your uh, youtube studio so uh, to set it up you need to setting uh, setting up uh, oauth 2.0 you need to configure a consent section uh, consent screen and uh, once you configure consent screen so you see here choose how you want to configure register your app including your target users you can only associate one app with your project and here you have some internal only available to users within your organization you will not need to submit your app for verification available for to any user with a google account so if it's an external and what's the difference in this mode your app is limited to g suite uh, user within your organization if you select sensitive or restricted scopes your test users will see an unverified app screen before they use your apps you can communicate with your internal users directly about how you will see uh, use their data if it's external then it will be the proper thing and uh, it's a different uh, way of uh, approving it external app that requests sensitive or restricted user data must first 
be verified by you google this process may take four to six weeks in addition if you selected restricted scopes you will need to go through independent security review which can cost up to 15k <laughs> you don't want to do that <laughs> i guess so yeah that's uh, that's all um so please let me know in the comment section if you liked it and uh, continue with my uh, I will continue in this series so uh, uh, next I will create a project where I will uh, actually I'm creating my website for this uh, YouTube channel tech of the day and uh, this is project is part of this video is part of that pro that website creation and I'll create more videos on that like uh, creating a website in Blazor and uh, deploying the website on uh, uh, using uh, Azure App Services and uh, all those things so please stay connected and uh, see you soon bye